Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to give you my top 5 apps that everybody should install whenever you are booting up Ubuntu or another version of Linux for the first time, and this video basically applies to all users, not just programmers or systems admins or techie guys like that, but these apps are good for pretty much everybody. So. First up, Chrome or a browser of your choice. Firefox is already installed by default, and I do use Firefox quite often. Uh, but having two browsers is nice, because whenever you run into some strange issues like compatibility on one browser, you can often just get around it and uh, keep going or watch your video by having another browser installed. Yes, you can play with it all day and get it to work, but sometimes it's just quicker to go straight to Chrome uh, or vice versa. For instance, Netflix comes to mind. Secondly, Wine. If you like playing Windows games, uh, specifically this could include anything from uh, like Hearthstone, Starcraft 2, um, I imagine like Call of Duty and other Steam games that aren't Linux compatible directly. Wine allows you to get around the fact that you're on Linux by, according to their website, giving you a compatibility layer capable of running Windows applications. And funny fact, Wine stands for is not an emulator, so it's not an emulator, guys. Uh, but it does allow you to play games that you otherwise couldn't play on Linux, which, you know, is one of the main things that's been holding back Linux, the uh, ability to not play all of the games you want to play. But with Wine, you can definitely get access to a lot of them. And uh, speaking of games, uh, Steam. Uh, there is a Linux version of Steam, and if you have a Steam account, you should go ahead and install it. Not all uh, Steam games are Linux compatible. A good portion of them are. I would say something like a, a third of uh, the games from my library managed to run on Linux, so that's plenty if you just want to have some fun there. I uh, don't know if you're going to be running two operating systems at the same time, but if even if uh, Linux is your main operating system, you can get a lot of fun there with easy downloads uh, and having all those games accessible in the store. So if you like to edit photos or graphics for any reason, could be school, could be work, could be that you're a YouTuber or whatever, uh, GIMP, I believe, is definitely the program to go to when it comes to image manipulation inside of Linux, and it's also free. Um, on Windows, it, I would say it's pretty close to Photoshop even. Um, Photoshop having a slight edge in features, but for what you're getting, once you get the hang of the GIMP interface, GIMP is an excellent tool for that kind of work. I use it for uh, all of my thumbnails and uh, a lot of other stuff too. Um, <laughs> but the point is, GIMP's pretty dang good, and uh, if you'd like, you can check my channel out for a lot of GIMP tutorials. So, finally for this top five list, So finally for this top five list, VLC Media Player. Um, in this day and age, I think everybody watches a lot of videos on their computer and they definitely listen to music. So you need a tool uh, along those lines in order to do so. And one that is cross-platform and very solid is VLC Media Player. It doesn't have the sexiest looking interface, but it does function well when it comes to all of your media needs. And in addition to that, it does respond to your commands quite quickly, which is one of the reasons I actually like to use Linux. Things tend to run pretty quick. So that's just my top five apps for everybody to use in Linux. Obviously, uh, you have to install more stuff if you need to do more technical things, but for the average person just looking for an operating system to enjoy media, enjoy games, uh, videos, music, uh, these five apps will definitely get you started. So I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if so, uh, you can consider donating to the channel. And I'll see you in my future videos. Peace, guys.